It's December 24th, 1992. We're at Rod and Carol Davidson's. We're behind the scenes getting ready for the great Christmas pageant. We're going to be interviewing Marianne Davidson. Marianne, please tell us a little bit about this production. We're going to listen to a story the kids are going to act it out. We hope. You're going to be a great No. Ian, who are you? Sarah, you look very beautiful with the Virgin Mary. Just inspired. Call you the Virgin Sarah. She better be a Virgin Sarah. Do you get married in the temple, child? Always get married in the temple. Mary was a beautiful young woman okay. who had been taught to believe in God and in the prophets. One day, the Lord sent the angel Gabriel to Mary with this message. Hail, thou that art high in heaven, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. He continued, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. Behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son, and shalt call his name Jesus. Mary remembered one of the prophecies concerning the Savior. A Jewish girl was to be the Savior's mother. Could it be possible that she was to be that chosen one? Mary listened carefully while the angel told her. Mary was still puzzled and asked the angel how she could possibly have this baby. She was planning to marry Joseph, but because of Mary's faith and humility, she believed everything Gabriel told her. Her heart was filled with joy. No other daughter of God had ever been so blessed. In her gentle way, Mary replied, Behold, the handmaid of the Lord. Be it unto me according to thy word. Mary wanted more than anything else to do the will of her father in heaven. <laughs> Joseph loved Mary and wanted her to be his wife. But when he found out she was going to have a baby, he decided to quietly call off. Fear not to take unto thee, Mary. For that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. Joseph now understood and took Mary to be his wife. The ruler of the Roman Empire sent out a decree that 
that every man in the empire must return to the city of his ancestors to pay his tax. Joseph had to go to Bethlehem. Because Mary was about to have the baby, she was very uncomfortable. The city was so crowded with all the people who had come to pay their taxes, there was not one room left for Mary and Joseph. Every inn was full. Finally, they found and they called him Jesus. Straw was carefully arranged in a manger to make a bed for Tenderly, Mary also an earthly child of God. Jesus is the only earthly child of God ever born into this world. Because he was the only begotten son of God, Jesus would be able to do the important work that God had called him to do in this 